Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Olympic Eats, where this time we're headed to... Actually, not really not really headed anymore. We're actually in Toronto today, as you can see. It's Toronto. This is the Toronto season. And we are in Canada, and so I thought that in honor of Canada, we could do a Canadian dish. So today, we're going to do... What do you guys think we're going to do? Hmm. It's going to be ginger beef. Yeah, ginger beef. But you guys know I was going to do poutine. Come on, guys. You guys, you guys really thought I was going to do poutine today? I mean, come on. I mean, everybody knows that poutine is from Canada. But come on. We want to do something different. We want to do something fun. So we're going to do ginger beef today. So let's go check it out. Come on, guys. All right, so these are ingredients for ginger beef. I've already pre-made everything. And I've already chopped everything. So it's just it's simpler to do. So right here, we have the marinade. Uh, and in the marinade, we have one pound of flank steak. We have two tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of dry sherry. One teaspoon of granulated sugar two tablespoons of ginger juice. Over here we have the sauce that's already prepared. We have one tablespoon of dry sherry, one teaspoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of water, and one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Down here we have the batter which we're gonna dip the marinade in and then we're gonna fry them. And then the batter is one fourth cup of flour, one fourth cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of vegetable oil and one third cup of water as needed. Basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that the batter is a little runny um, when it falls off the spoon and that's how you know that you have the right consistency for the batter. And down here is the rest of the ingredients for the stir fry. We have one teaspoon of sesame oil, we have about one medium onion that's been julienned, we have one celery stalk that's been chopped, we have one red bell pepper that's also been julienned, we have three red chili peppers which have been cut as well, and then right here we have one tablespoon each of ginger and garlic. And then we also have, also have vegetable oil to fry with. Okay, so let's get started on our ginger beef. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to let this marinade right here at least marinate for, I'd say, about 25 minutes, um, it's up to an hour. You don't want to marinate too long, but I mean, between 25 minutes and an hour is really good, just to make sure that the, um, the marinade is infused inside the beef. So let's go and start frying this beef up. Okay, so what we've done here is we've preheated our oil to about 360 degrees Fahrenheit, or about medium high, so it's, it's hot, so we're ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this meat and we're gonna add it right into the uh, batter then as soon as it's all coated, nicely coated, you want to add it into the oil. And what we want to do is we want to fry all of the beef. You can do it in batches if you want to. We just want to fry the beef until they're golden brown. And we want to put them on a paper towel. This is the marinade beef. We fry all the marinade beef. And what we want to do now is we want to fry it a second time to make sure that the outside is golden nice and crispy for you. So now what we did is we turned the heat up to maximum or, yeah, you want to put it up really high and we want to add the entire, all of the beef mixture back into the de or to the oil. I'm going to do this slowly because I don't want to burn myself. And we just want to fry it a second time. So this is what the ginger beef looks like after it's been double fried. It's very crispy. So we're going to go ahead and start stir frying the ingredients together. Okay, so what we've done here is we've cleaned out the wok completely and we put our uh, stove on high or max. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the two tablespoons of oil to the pan to stir fry with. And as soon as the oil gets hot, I want to go ahead and add the ginger garlic along with the chili. Okay, now you, I don't know if you can see it, but, well, you can't smell it, but it smells very gingery and garlicky and the chilies have blistered. So now we're going to go ahead and add the carrots right into the uh, mixture. And we want to saute the carrots until they're a little tender. Alright, now that the carrots are a little soft, we're going to go ahead and add the celery and the bell pepper. We want to stir fry this for a little bit longer. Okay, so now that the vegetables are all stir fried, we want to make a well in the middle to add the sauce. The sauce that we made earlier, if you guys remember. So we're going to go ahead and add the sauce in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and make sure and wait till the sauce comes to a boil. Okay, now that the sauce has come to a boil, we want to go ahead and add the meat right into the pan. We just want to stir fry this all together, get all the juices in there. And there we have it, the perfect ginger beef. Okay, let's try it. 
ginger beef. It's really, really delicious. Okay, thanks guys for tuning in this time. Um, we went and we made a nice ginger beef dish. And why do you think, why are you guys probably wondering why I chose that dish? Well, honestly, because in Canada, everything's very diversified. It was a Chinese style dish that was invented here in Canada, so it is a national Canadian dish. I mean, you can find it anywhere in Canada. You can go to Vancouver or you can go to Newfoundland and you'll still find this ginger beef anywhere. I don't, I never seen, I've never seen it in America, so I mean, it's gotta be just a Canadian dish, I'm just saying. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe below for another episode. Next week we will go to... I'm not sure if I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to go because it's going to be funner if you don't know where I'm going. Or subscribe below, comment below, rate below, and watch another one of my videos on Olympic Geek. So, Olympic Geek, it's out. Bye-bye, guys.